All right. All right. So now we're going to draw this part right here. We're going to draw this part right here. So um, we're going to start with setting our overall distance for this circle and that circle. So I'm going to start with the center line and then go 4.12 this way, 4.12 that way. All right. So let's go to our line, make a vertical line for our center marker, 4.12. I'll just mirror it it's the same distance the other direction. I click mirror. Okay, and now I'll do the two circles that are there. So one circle is 0.5 radius, and then the other circle, no, one circle is 0.5 radius, and then the other circle is 0.56 diameter. Okay, so go to circle. 5 radius and then this one D 0.56 and then I'm going to mirror this right there I'm going to get rid of that line and just extend this one so I have a solid line okay and I'm going to get rid of that now I'm going to set up my height so from the bottom here to the top is 5.12 so I'm going to have a line going from here to here, and then I'm going to go 5.12. There that is. And now I'm going to set 3.5 this way, 3.5 that way. So 3.5 plus 3.5, that equals 7 inches. So as a, and then I'm just going to go center to center. And then, again, I'm going to copy these two circles to each of those. Messed up there. Go back. And then erase these two. Alright. So now I have my circles. Um, all I have to do now is go from here to here. Go straight. Just trim there for now so I don't get confused. Alright, so now we have these two entities there. Now we need to do our this angle right here, which this angle. Okay, so I'm gonna start with making a line and rotating that. I want it to go this way, so I'm gonna go negative 40 degrees. And then I'm going to make a line as well and go here and go 45 degrees because I'm going to put the center mark right at that 45 degrees. So I just take it right from there. Okay. Um, I'm just going to extend it a little bit. Okay. So we have that part. Now we gotta figure out where this line starts. So it's from the center is 2.25. So it's an overall line of 4.5. And then you go to the center. And I'm just gonna make a vertical line there. Vertical line here. Okay, so now I have that there. Now I can trim this line to there this to there. Now I need to get this 11 degree line from here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Make a straight line. Rotate it 11 degrees. And then try and do that 45 degrees again. And move this center to that center which does not look correct. So I'm going to go from here, I'm going to try 
make it right there. Okay. So I, that's the way it should be right there. And now I'm gonna extend and I will trim. Okay. Erase these, I don't need them anymore. Trim here, trim here, trim here, trim here. Okay. See that line there? Just trim it again. Okay. So now I have this. Now I gotta find this radius right here. So I'm gonna go offset 0.5. I'm going to offset 0 0.5 from there, 0 0.5 from there, 0 0.5 from there. And they're both, they both are 0.5. So this is the center marker of my rate of my circle, which is 0.5 radius. And then I can just copy that circle right there. And now I'm going to trim. Okay, so now that you have your radiuses, I am going to mirror that because it's just a mirror image. I'm going to actually delete this circle and delete these two circles here. So I can just mirror this whole side on here. There, so everything is the same on both sides. Now I can focus on doing this middle circle. So as you can see it's point, point, uh, 2.5 from the top. So I'm going to start with that. Let me get rid of this here. So we'll go 2.5 and it's right in the center. So as long as we know that that 0.25 is in the center of everything we are good. Yes. And then we're going to start with our center circle, which is a diameter of 3.25. So D, 0.25. All right, so we have that. Now we need to get this little thing here. And they're giving us a radius from the top of 20. I mean, um, they're giving us a degree sign on the top of 28. So we are going to make a straight line and then rotate that 28 degrees, which goes the other way. Uh, we want that to be the other way. So we're going to go negative 28 degrees. All right, so that's where we start. They also give us a center circle for that circle right there. And they tell us that that is a radius of 1.88. So going from this again, we go 1.8, and then we start our circle there. So we can figure out the size of that one, which is radius point one. So we do that, and now we gotta make sure that our perpendicular is on, so we can do a line and get rid of this circle. Right from there at 90 degrees, straight down, and then mirror that right on the center here, and then trim. All right, so now we have that there. Okay, so I think the only thing we're missing now is this circle over here right here and this little piece here. So let's start with this circle. So this circle goes from the center of this circle to there, 1.81, 1.81 to there, and then it goes up 0 0.62, 0 0.62. And now that's where we can put our circle. And that size of the circle is a diameter of diameter. 0.75. All right, so we have that. Now we gotta get this, which is 1.88 in each direction. So I'm gonna get that. 
So one way point A8 parallel. Point A8. Point A8. How tall is it? Looks like it's point 12. Offset point 12. Going up and now trim. Trim, trim, trim. All right. And then last piece, we have that little radius there of 12. So we're just going to make, again, we'll just offset point 12. Offset from there, point 12. Offset from there, point 12. And that is our, inner, our center line of our circle, the center marker of our circle, which is radius point 12. And there that is. And then I'll just go ahead and mirror that because it is the same on the other side. Okay, delete and trim. We can't trim that one because we just have to delete it because the circle goes all the way to the bottom. All right, now we have our part, we have all the pieces. And now let's just get some center lines on there. Okay, change some colors. So the center lines will be purple. will just be green. Alright, and that kind of does it for our video. Oh, I am missing one center line. Over here. And another thing that we can do is put that little center line there. Um, what was that one? 0.188. So 0.18 radius. And then just maybe offset probably like 0.5 inches. That way, that way. And just trim that circle to those two points make this into a center line center make it purple change the accuracy All right. and maybe also just do a little bit of that now I gotta offset that circle by an eighth and then extend to make sure that I stay straight. And then also change that into a center line. And then I think we're done. And we have completed our part, put it on a page layout, PDF outfit, and submit. All right, thank you very much. If you have any questions, please comment down below.